Good evening, Philippines. This is Mike Padua, and we are here in Naga City, Philippines, bringing you the very latest on the weather analysis for this weekend of Saturday to Monday, September 7 to 9, 2024. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and the Naga College Foundation, one of the best educational institutions here in Bicol region and Naga City. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakili Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Now, let's begin with our update. How's the weather right now? It's uh, becoming uh, uh, good across the country, but mostly gloomy and cloudy still. Because of the remnants of the southwest monsoon across the Philippine Islands, there are still some thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening, especially here over the western coastal areas of Luzon. Localized thunderstorms can also be expected over Mindanao, parts of Visayas, here in Naga City. It's a scorching hot again, 45 to 47 degrees heat index. It's back to our normal uh, hot weather with uh, uh, very light winds from the south, southwest. So far, uh, uh, when we speak of uh, uh, Super Typhoon uh, Yagi, where is it now? For the past uh, 24 hours, it made landfall over Hainan Island, over Haiku City. They, uh, uh, are, calling this, they, are, they are calling this island as the uh, Chinese uh, counterpart for Hawaii. Okay? since it's a tourist uh, destination in southern China. So it passed directly over the uh, city of Haiku uh, around uh, 7 p.m. last night, and the Haiku International Airport recorded uh, uh, winds of gusting up to almost 200 kph, and uh, right now uh, they are now uh, still uh, feeling the effects of the southwest monsoon or the backside of the storm. And then uh, later this afternoon, uh, around 2 p.m., the system made landfall over uh, Halong Bay, one of the United Nations UNESCO site. And uh, most of the uh, tourist uh, schedule has been postponed because of this uh, very strong typhoon. It's one of the strongest in decades that uh, struck uh, uh, Halong Bay, and as of this time, 8 p.m., it's now in the vicinity of uh, Hanoi, Hanoi City, Vietnam, and the wind speeds has dropped to uh, 200 kph before uh, making landfall. Yesterday, when it passed over Haiku in uh, northern Hainan, it reached uh, super typhoon strength, and it weakened the uh, uh, down to uh, around uh, 40 kph less. And then when it passed over the Gulf of Tonkin, it rapidly intensified again up to 215 kph, one minute average. And right now it's fast dissipating. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center has uh, issued already the final update since uh, it's no longer uh, under their jurisdiction to issue updates. That's why they uh, uh, issued the final update or warning while well, Japan Meteorological Agency continues to monitor the system as well as the uh, Beijing uh, uh, Weather Center in uh, China or the Chinese Meteorological Agency and right now it's just 140 kph based on the uh, wind speeds of the Japan Meteorological Agency and it's, it is expected to become a tropical storm later tonight or early tomorrow morning and that's it. That's the uh, situation on uh, Yagi with local name Anteng, which brought uh, floods across uh, parts of the Philippine Islands, including here in Naga City. We experienced the worst rainfall ever in uh, in my lifetime, okay? Because the rain rate 
is so high with less than 10 hours from roughly 3 p.m. It went up to almost 300 millimeters. Only the total 24 rain, 24 hour rain is at 300.5 based on my weather station. We didn't collate it yet. All the weather stations under Typhoon 2000. We have 10 AWS and we will uh, collate all the rainfall of this uh, weather system. Now, there are lots of rumors going on because a few days ago, we have a very large system that may enter par on September 13 or next Friday. But now, on the latest forecast, it's no, no longer expected to become a, a powerful typhoon, just a minimal tropical storm or even a category 1 typhoon on the American model. But that's good news and we are going to show to you the latest on that. That's why we put it on the graph set the development of these two LPAs, this is 94W and 95W over uh, Micronesia. This could still become a Micronesian Typhoon, but so far it's no longer going to happen if the computer models continue to uh, forecast it that way. So uh, these uh, two systems uh, are weak ones. But uh, we are still going to observe this. <coughs> 94W is expected to move towards Taiwan. And we are keeping an eye on this. If it becomes a tropical cyclone, if it does, and if it's within the Philippine area responsibility, this will become 30. If not, uh, this will be uh, the f to be named uh, 30. If this one, if not, this will be uh, become go if not this will become 30 but if this uh, develops into 30 this will become Henner so that's the situation and uh, lots of <coughs> and lots of posts right now uh, on social media that the uh, there's this powerful typhoon September 11 to 15 September 30 to 15 but these are already old forecast uh, models uh, based on the old forecast runs two days ago right now it's uh, showing a different clock okay and they edit edited it and uh, some sort of story that it we can uh, actually they, it helps but it start to create some panic mode for the Filipino people so I suggest just uh, look at the latest from Pagasa and ours actually the uh, bottom line here or the uh, rule of thumb if the forecast is more than five days don't mind okay just chill uh, because those forecast more than six uh, five days to ten days has zero to 25 percent probability okay it will change the strength will change that uh, the you know the tracking and sometimes it will disappear so no worries, but if it's less than uh, five days, or one to five days, that's why the forecast track of the typhoons, when we have warnings or advisories, it's only up to five days. You can see our maps, okay, our tracking. Not uh, not just Pagasa, but uh, Japan, Joint Typhoon Warning Center of USA, and also us. When we create uh, tracking, it's just up to five days because we knew that... Uh, more than five days is rubbish okay when uh, englishman uh, always says always say uh, that word rubbish okay so nothing to worry about we have not the latest it says here uh based on the 8 a.m data today september 7 all of them are heading uh, all of them are heading towards uh, japan over taiwan so, uh, but still, it's uh, uncertain since it's more than five days. But uh, within the next few days, it will be within five days. So, most likely, this will become the uh, forecast uh, scenario with increasing uh, high probability. So, let's see. But that's good news for us, okay? I'm going to show to you later the uh, uh, tracking of these two LPAs, nothing to worry about. Here's the fast animation. Here's uh, Typhoon uh, Yagi passing over Hanoi 
and uh, we have here the uh, southerly winds no longer the southeast monsoon we have a uh, cloudiness here and uh, developing uh, LPA here 94W and another one here 95W and if you take a look at the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com these are localized thunderstorms across parts of Visayas also uh, Mindanao okay those clouds that are moving towards the uh, southwest or blowing from the northeast is mainly due to northeasterly upper level winds okay but uh, at the bottom like here the winds is blowing from the south so it's a different take when you are speaking of upper level winds mid level winds and low level winds so we always uh, give you the low level wind since it's the one that affects us in uh, on the ground <clears throat> okay so here's the track of yagi this might be the final one all of them made landfall all of them uh, landfall over uh, most of the asian agencies uh, forecast it to continue to move over the north or northwestern side of uh, vietnam and if we uh, take a look at the latest uh, wind and pressure forecast now i'm gonna show to you now those two so today here's uh, yagi here's 94w here's 95w tomorrow afternoon sunday 94w will move slowly westward 95 west northwest okay not yet uh, an active one just a shallow uh, just a moderate lpa now on uh, monday this one might uh, become an active lpa as it approaches the southernmost part of okinawa or the ryukyus and still moving towards the uh, west and this one is moving directly towards uh, Guam and the Mariana Islands as a low pressure. And on uh, Monday, and on Tuesday, September 10, uh, 94W, uh, it looks like it became, it became, uh, it looks like it's, it is becoming disorganized while uh, the one at the back passing over guam this could become a tropical depression so take note the philippine area of responsibility is here mm -hmm. and then if we move our, our forecast slider to wednesday september 10 it will track more northwest thursday becoming a tropical storm and we have a uh, monsoon uh, system forming to the south of this system uh, of this uh, potential storm and on friday friday the 13th september it will enter the philippine area of responsibility as a tropical storm and it's moving uh, accelerating i mean towards the west northwest in the general direction of japan and uh, taiwan or taiwan okay and then Saturday, September 14, it has accelerated more, moving out of the Philippine Air Responsibility south of Okinawa as a tropical storm. And we have here the development of a uh, an active southwest monsoon. So there might be some occasional monsoon rains across Mimaropa, Visayas, Bicol region, uh, just uh, parts of uh, southern uh, Bicol like Albay, Sogon, and Masbate would feel the effects of the southwest monsoon on saturday september 14. sunday september 15 the uh, tropical storm will dissipate and another one will form to the east of Batanes that will continue to enhance the southwest monsoon across southern luzon metro manila uh, Visayas, mimaropa okay so uh uh, again we are witnessing a very large monsoon gyre where in multiple uh, circulation is set to form so that will be on sunday mm, september 16 
or September September 15. And on Monday, September 16, that the LPA is uh, likely to become a tropical storm. It's uh, a large, uh, uh, broad uh, weather system. So we are going to observe this. Again, the forecast is more than six days, so it's highly uncertain yet. Very low probability. So we will keep you updated every other day. So, uh, uh, so far, when we check the latest from the easterlywave.com ensemble, this is from the European model. A few days ago, the ensemble shows it here. Okay, but right now, it's already here. So it's moving up. So that's good news for us here in the Philippine Islands. And all we need to say is, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, God, that the potential storm a few days back, more uh, very powerful entering power, is no longer expected to become a powerful typhoon based on what the model says, unless there will be some changes in the future. But most um, worst case scenario, it could become a typhoon, but still moving towards the Taiwan, Western Japan area. For the uh, rain forecast, tomorrow, Sunday, 24 hours, there might be some rainfall here over the Batanes, Babuin, Kubo Islands because of some localized thunderstorms and the monsoon trough over here. And then on Monday, let's move this on Monday, 24 hour rain. There we go. It will move a little bit downwards as the LPA approaches Taiwan. This is the LPA here. So there might be some surge of the southwest monsoon, some rainfall across the western sections of Ilocos region. And on Tuesday, uh, that will be Tuesday, September 10, it has weekend. And there's another one here, becoming a very large uh, circulation, uh, becoming a large circulation. So the system is here over Guam. So this is now the, uh, uh, potential of uh, 30 or in error depend depending if the it depends if the system here is of Taiwan intensifies okay so there you go that's the latest for this weekend Saturday to Monday Mali Now let's take a look at the latest uh, wave forecast around the Philippine Islands today until tomorrow Sunday. There will be still some choppy waves here, but decreasing from three to two meters. Okay, across the uh, various uh, coastal waters of the uh, Philippine archipelago, it's uh, uh, zero to uh, I mean point one meter to. Uh, roughly uh, one meter okay and on Monday it will return to normal over the West Philippine Sea especially on the Tuesday uh, but there is still some <coughs> but the waves here is still ongoing up to only around uh, up to only uh, one meter uh, other parts of the country will be below one meter in wave heights so suitable for fishing and sea travel. So there you go. That's the latest English version of our update for today, September 7, Saturday, another weekend. And we will return or see you again on Monday to give you the very latest, particularly on those two LPAs and the one over to the southeast of Guam. From time 2000, it's Mike Padua saying uh, happy weekend to all. Stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless. Uh, God bless to all.